and welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is your teacher Obi on your screen. And we are now on the last topic for your Mathematics 7, the last lesson finally. The measures of variability. And for today, we are going to have two lessons, the ungrouped and grouped data. Now, the module of the week is still the same and we are now on this objective. Calculate the measures of variability of grouped and ungrouped data. And in the measures of variability, we are going to have these four terms. The first one, the range. Next is the mean deviation. Next is the variance and the standard deviation. Now, what are the uses of this? For the ungrouped data, when we say range, it is the spread of your data from the lowest to the highest value in the distribution. And we are going to compute that by subtracting the highest value and the lowest value. The mean deviation is a measure that removes several shortcomings of other measures. And the formula is the summation of the absolute value of x minus x bar all over n. And the variance, it is the measure of variability and it tells the degree of spread in your data. It is calculated by taking the square of deviations from the mean. So, ito yung formula niya. The summation of the quantity x minus x bar squared all over n. And the standard deviation, it is a measure of the amount of variation or dispersion of a set of values. And it is calculated by the square root of the variance. So, yung variance at the standard deviation nagko-connect sila. And let's have these problems. Complete the table and find variance and standard deviation. And the technique in here now is the difference of these two is also the difference of the following. So 16 minus negative 6 is 22. So definitely 5 minus 22, negative 17. 10 minus 22, negative 12. 19 minus 22 is negative 3, 26 minus 22 is 4, and 39 minus 22 is 17. And in the next column, we have the x mean squared. So 17 squared is 289. Negative 12 squared is 144. Negative 6 squared is 36. 2 squared is 4, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64. And the total of that one is 900. And now that the table is complete, let's find for the variance. The formula in finding the variance is the summation of ito divided by n. So, nakuha na natin itong summation which is ito. 900 divided by n. n is the number of x. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Kaya, 9 yung nilagay ko dito. So, 9 yung n. 900 divided by 9 is 100. And therefore, the variance of the data set is 100. 
Next, we have the standard deviation using the same table again. And this is now the formula in finding for the standard deviation. So, we have the square root of 900 divided by 9. And 900 divided by 9 is 100. So, the square root of 100 is 10. So, therefore, the standard deviation of the data set is 10. Comparing the results, we have this one. Variance is 100, while the standard deviation is 10. So definitely, the variance is the square of the standard deviation, and the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Next, we have the group data. This time, we have a different formula in finding for the variance. And so with the standard deviation. Now this is the problem and the table we are going to fill up. Class mark is calculated using these intervals. So 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. The mean of 46 to 50 is 48. And the mean of 41 to 45 is 43. This is 38. And this is 28. So, tignan mo lang yung number na nasa gitna. Your fx, you're just going to multiply the frequency and your class mark. So, 1 times 48 is 48. Then, 10 times 38 is 380. 9 times 28 is... 252 and 4 times 23 is 92 and the sum of this is 1730 now the next column is your x minus x bar wherein your x bar is 34.6 so dito magba minus ka ng 34.6 so 48 minus 34.6 13.4 so 43 minus 34.6 you have 8.4 33 minus 34.6 you have negative 1.6 and the next column is that you're just going to square this column so 13.4 squared is 179.56 Negative 1.6 times negative 1.6, you have 2.56. And negative 6.6 .6 times negative 6.6, .6, you have 43.56. And this part now, just connect the frequency and this part. So, you're just going to multiply them. 1 times 179.56 is the same. The next is 10 times 70.56. You have 705.6. 16 times 2.56. You have 40.96. And 4 times 134.56 is 538.24. Now, the sum of all of this f times x minus x bar squared is 1,972. Now that we are done with the table, let's find for the variance and the standard deviation. So, the variance is being calculated by this formula. Since we already got this part, which is your 1, 1972 and your summation of f minus 1 summation of f is 50 minus 1 is 50 minus 1 is 49 and you have 40.24 so therefore the variance of the data set is 40.24 and we are done with the variance so let's proceed with the standard deviation Ye square root lang natin yung variance. So, the square root of 40.24 now is 6.34. So, therefore, the standard deviation of the data set is 6.34. Gets?
So kung nagets nyo, it's your turn. For the last time, open your modules and do the activities assigned to you by your teacher. Thank you for watching and God bless you all. from the start of the Mathematics 7 down to the last lesson of the Mathematics 7. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell below for more updates and more videos. Also guys, mag-comment naman kayo down here kung ano pa yung gusto niyong maging vlog content ko.